guys, Thunder E here, and I just got back from Miami. It was a work trip, but also spent some time with my girlfriend, and I decided to make the whole thing into an S20 Plus camera review. Yeah, I know. Uh, but this should give you a good idea of how it actually is in a more realistic setting, less of the controlled stuff that we tend to do as YouTubers. Everything was shot with the S20 Plus, so let's go check out some photos. So as you would expect when you get to Miami Beach, the first thing you wanna do is go to the beach and uh, taking some photos outdoors, camera really does a good job. Uh, this is the rear camera as you'd expect and this is the front facing camera. Now this is sort of a backlit environment because the sun was of course behind me with the shot but it came out pretty well. You can see the details of my shirts, my face, all that fun stuff. Um, and I would say actually this uh, photo series. I don't think I took any portrait mode show photos. I was just taking natural shots. Now, um, we're invited by Blue, so I want to give a big shout out to them. Check out their offices, and we captured some stuff here with the camera. They've got some really nice packaging. I'm glad they are not like just black and white like every other company. Uh, but we got to see some of the stuff that they really showcased, uh, and they're going to showcase later on this year. Can't talk about it yet, but it was pretty cool. Uh, but they have an array of products to check out between like 100 to 250. It's not sponsored or anything. I just want to just talk about it because hey. They flew me down to Miami and they took us out to go have some awesome dinner and uh, food and drinks in Miami are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Totally amazing. Gotta check it out. Now, skin tones is something you're really gonna appreciate with this camera, as you can see on my girlfriend here. Her skin tone looks really natural, matches her quite well. Her hair is also well depicted. Uh, even in this photo here, which is not focused on the lady in front, but more on the boat, her skin tone comes out well. And this general shot of everyone here taking shots, <laughs> um, skin tones also really match as well. And the front-facing camera does a decent job as well with skin tone, so you're gonna see it quite a bit with this camera. And in video, as we got to party on a boat, um, actually two boats to be exact, so thanks Blue again for that one. Um, all the skin tones looked really nice and everything looked really sharp and quite vibrant. Fun fact, this is the largest mansion on Star Island in Miami, owned by the guy who found Viagra. Uh, but it's a beautiful shot here. You can see everything so clear, pretty sharp. Now we move into some low light photos and this is on the boat. Uh, it's, it's a nice photo, but you can see the images down the way are not as focused. Same thing with this one here as well. Um, kind of gives you this painting like feel to it. That's something you're going to constantly get uh, with some of its low light photography. Now this is a really low light conditions, uh, but again, it still it actually came out well lit, which was at least good to see here. Now when we move to just individual subjects, you can see this in this photo there, um, you know, the dress comes out well, skin tone also uh, really comes out nicely as well. Although what you notice is the hair, which was much sharper and detailed in daytime, not as much, but again, you know, my girlfriend has a lot of hair, so uh, it's a little harder for the camera to capture that. Now, front facing camera does a good job with hair here, and again, skin tones are nice, not as bright as vibrant as the rear camera, but I do like the shots there. Uh, this is a shot outside, uh, 
the I love the kind of poster like feel to it. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of lights, street lights, so which is probably why the shot came out this way with the night mode. Same thing with this, uh, the, the palm trees. I was actually walking by and I quickly took the shot, so I was impressed that it actually uh, didn't actually blur. Uh, across the board but uh, I think when you kind of look at some of the shots that you get with the Galaxy S20 Plus especially in the light conditions it really does a fantastic job especially this last image that we have here that thing does something really unique and awesome for people um, and I think this camera goes a long way into capturing what you are looking for for camera uh, especially in daytime and uh, of course nighttime uh, situations I think overall the S20 Plus really does a solid job with uh, you know just capturing images and capturing things in the moment. Uh, uh, there is room for improvement and I think we're going to see more of those improvements there. I didn't show anything in 8K, I was basically in the moment trying to capture as much as I could. And there were so many photos but of course this is what I just was sharing with you guys. So if you have any questions or any comments about this let me know otherwise don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.